Hey, everybody. Just wanted to take a couple minutes and talk about uh, uh, sensors. I know there's a couple questions, and, and some of you are looking at, uh, you know, what aircraft to purchase, and, you know, how come the, uh, you know, this aircraft says it's a 48 megapixel uh, image, and this one only says it's 20, and, and what's the difference, global shutter and all that. I'm not going to get into all that stuff, but it is very interesting to take a look at different sensors and what the manufacturer says about it compared to, uh, you know, the, the, the truth. Um, not that the manufacturers are, uh, you know, they're they're not telling lies, but they are trying to stretch the truth as far as they can so that you you buy that aircraft. And the classic one is, you know, these things you see, it's a 48 megapixel image, and where does that come from? So anyway, this might be kind of an interesting research project, but, you know, because like right here I have the Mavic 2 Pro on the left, Mavic 2 Zoom, um, both uh, taken with the same settings, and uh, basically this is without any touch-up whatsoever. I haven't done anything to these pictures. It was straight off the aircraft, and they're both they're all JPEG, so they're not. I'm not using RAW format or anything like that. I'm just trying to compare apples to apples here, um, taken within about 10 minutes of each other. Um, and uh, I'll kind of show you uh, the difference between the sensors and what's going on here. Um, because a lot of times the manufacturers, like I say, they try to make things sound better than they are. Classic example, the the, uh, the uh, Bebop 2, they say it's a, a, a an HD camera with, you know, 1080p as far as the... Uh, uh, the, the video resolution, um, what they don't tell you is it has a fixed lens that's 180 degree field of view, which means that if you want a photo like this, you're going to, you're going to have to crop out about nine tenths of the photo. Um, and your, your effective, you know, uh, photo is going to be about, you know, 1.2 megapixels. So, uh, they don't tell you that <laughs> for obvious reasons. Um, but let's compare the Mavic two here on the left and the Mavic two zoom on the right. So when you first take a look at it, you go, man, those pictures are, that's about, that, about similar here. Um, just as far as the sensor here on the, the Mavic 2 uh, Pro, um, it has a one inch uh, CMOS sensor. Um, so it's going to come up with uh, about 20 million um, effective pixels. Um, and that's a Quinn when it says effective pixels, what does that really mean, right? So, but this is a one inch sensor. And over here, the, uh, the Mavic 2 Zoom, um, it's like it's labeled as a one over 2.3 inch, which comes out to about a point uh, uh, four three five inch sensor is what it's uh, what it's looking like. Its effective pixels is about 12 million. So this is about three uh, three thousand by four thousand pixels. Um, you know, if you look at a Mavic, um, uh, I mean, uh, a Phantom 3 Pro, it's going to have basically the same sensor, but now it's going to have a global shutter compared to a rolling shutter. Um, like this one has, um, again, we can talk about that stuff later if you'd like to, but I just want to, again, compare these two, uh, together. So this is the Mavic 2 Pro. This is the Mavic 2 Zoom and the Mavic, uh, Pro, uh, it has a set, um, focal length of an equivalent of about 28 millimeters and the Mavic 2 Zoom, you can go from 24 millimeters, which was this one is, and you can zoom into 48 and I'll show you that here in a second. Um, but you can see they look about the same from this point of view, but let's start zooming in. Let's take a look at the mountain here. We'll zoom in on that one and we will zoom in here to make the mountain about the same size there, you know, something about like that. Okay. So you can see the difference right here because, you know, again, this is not, this is not an optical zoom. I'm basically doing equivalent of a digital zoom here on both these. And you can obviously see the difference in the quality, um, of that, just like you'd expect. You have about twice as many, uh, um, pixels over here on this photo, uh, than you do on this one over here. And, you know, the more you zoom in, you can really start to see that, um, the colors are also, you know, not quite the same there, uh, uh, on those two. So, Clear, uh, uh, clearly the Mavic 2 Pro is better. Um, but what happens when we zoom in, and this is the beauty of the Mavic 2 Zoom, is you have that zoom capability. So if I can get the right, the right one here. That's the wrong one. Let's get that one. Okay, so there's zoomed in now. Um, this, so this is zoomed in. Uh, maybe not. There we go. This is zoomed in at 48 millimeters. So this one's zoomed the full two times zoom that this one has. And now if we compare these, you'll see because it's using the digital zoom, I mean the uh, uh, the optical zoom, not a digital zoom. So we're only doing digital zoom over here is what I'm doing. This is the optical zoom. Um, you can see that those are fairly comparable um, with those uh, those images. Um, but let's just keep going, digging in a little bit further here. And, you know, let's concentrate maybe on these rocks right here. Might be a pretty good thing to take a look at. Um, so as we're zooming in on the Mavic 2 Pro making those rocks about the same size right there. Um, you can still start to see that, you know, I, I give the edge, you know, just, uh, you know, just from the, the bleachers point of view here, I give the edge to the, uh, the Mavic two pro, um, with the, uh, uh, as far as resolution, but it's still, it's much closer than it, than it was. 
But anyway, so you can see that the difference between these two isn't that much because the Mavic 2 zoom has that uh, that optical zoom it's able to go in there but i'm still giving the edge to the uh, um uh to the uh, the mavic 2 pro um just because of the uh, the way the sensors set up and everything else so the point here is you know the sensors aren't uh, necessarily um all the same and uh, just because you have a, an optical zoom on a camera doesn't mean that it's going to be all that much uh, uh all that much better um, if at all. And you know, you can see if you pull these pictures out to right about that same spot right here, you can just see that the detail like right over here on these rocks here is much better with the Mavic 2 Pro than it is with even the Mavic 2 zoomed, zoomed all the way in. Um, you know, so if you pull this one all the way out, you know, that's what that photo looks like here with the Mavic 2 Pro, man, you got that much right there and you can do so much more with, uh, with this than you can with this, just because it's such a bigger format photo. So, you know, I can do anything that I want to here, um, with this, with this type of a, uh, a framing, you know, trying to get the one third rules and things like that down on this. Um, just, you have a lot more to work with, with the Mavic 2 Pro, just because of the size um, of the sensor. Um, so now that's not to say that the Mavic 2 zoom doesn't have its place. And one of the places that it can be used really well, um, is if you need to have a, uh, um, a zoom capability real time. Um, because, you know, what, what DJI decided to do with this is I'm sure they've done the same thing, right? Um, and they took a look at this and they went, well, heck, if we put a digital zoom on the Mavic 2 Pro that you can do real time, um, it's going to look better than what the Mavic 2 zoom is going to look like. Um, you know, so they could have done that, but they chose not to. Why? Because of marketing and they want to sell two drones instead of one. They have people like me who are, you know, you know, the, the, the folks that can't get it right. And uh, I buy both of them and that's what they want. Um, if they just would put a digital zoom on this Mavic 2 uh, uh, Pro, it would have outperformed the Mavic 2 zoom and that's not what they want, right? Um, so anyway, uh, just uh, some points there looking at it. You know, the difference between sensors is huge. Um, the uh, You can see here that a, uh, a one inch sensor um, even zoomed all the way in outperforms the, the even the optical zoom capability of a lesser uh, lesser sensor. So, again, you know you gotta you gotta kind of weigh what you want to do um, and everything else. But for for my money, you know there's there's uh, you know the Mavic Two uh, um, uh, Pro is the way to go, especially when you have the filter sets that you can put on it. The Hasselblad camera is just outstanding. So, um, anyway, I hope that helps. Uh, hopefully, it uh, spurred a little bit of a thought as far as uh, the difference uh, and uh, some things you can compare here.